Thorn head coach Rian Wilkinson. Rian, thanks for joining us. Just for all our folks online, just a reminder to click the raise your hand button if you have a question for Rian. Uh, but just to start us off, just give us your overall thoughts on, on the match. Yeah, there was a, obviously my voice is gone again, so uh, apologies. Uh, there's a lot to be proud of. Um, we lost and congratulations to Chelsea. It's a very good team with some incredible talent. You know, they're managed by one of the premier managers in the world. So what a ama amazing opportunity for us to to play against some of the world's best and, and see how we we stand up against that. It's their preseason. We're in the middle of a season. There's a lot of rotations. We used a lot of different faces. Um, so I, I was I was proud of what the players did, and that was they did what we want to do, and they didn't just sort of get caught up in the idea of who Chelsea is. Instead, they played the game. So I was really, really happy with it. Um, I think it's something we can really learn and grow with uh, for the last bit of the season and the resell season. Thank you for that. We'll open it to questions. Brian? <coughs> Excuse me. Hi, Irene. Uh, what do you think it says about the club that this team was playing step for step with uh, Chelsea, a, a club that has the history it does and um, has the talent that it does now? Well, first, I mean, these. There's no good time to have these tournaments. It's always somewhat there at the preseason. We're in the middle of season. But it's such a wonderful event to really just showcase women's clubs across the world. And again, they get a lot of TV time. Congratulations to England for winning the Euros. Like, there's a lot of women on the field for Chelsea that are household names. And now we've just seen the Thorns put in a performance where we outshot them, had more corners than them definitely moments of the game where they were in control, <coughs> excuse me, and moments where we were in control. Wow. <laughs> yeah, this is something uh, which I think is great. It's great for the game, but it's also great to showcase our leagues because um, it's two very different styles. And uh, <coughs> did you find yourself instructing a little more during this tournament, just given the rotation and, and that maybe leading to the, the froggy throat? or? Actually, this is a congratulations to the fans. Uh, they were so loud the whole tournament, incredibly supportive, and just trying to, I just tried to encourage. There's definitely a few new partnerships, especially in the last game where we saw some, some players who've been working really hard at training and got opportunities to play, um, just trying to be there, encouraging them. There's not much coaching you can do during a game. You do the best you can, but that's at training, that's in our video sessions. Um, so I lose my voice every time to try and outshout the uh, the Thorns fans. So I don't ha I don't have much of a chance. <laughs> uh, looking forward, you play North Carolina on Wednesday, followed by San Diego on Saturday. Um, how are you looking to prepare? Right, I know you have a really quick turnaround. Like, how do you make sure that you implement some changes for coming into uh, North Carolina? Yeah, and North Carolina's away. I think that's important to <laughs> to say across this uh, wonderfully giant country. Um, the season's not always kind. I think a lot of teams in this league have had moments like this where you've you've got to be prepared to, to deal with travel and um, deal with two games very close together. We looked at this month as a six-game month, and we've been trying to build out our rosters through the month. It hasn't been perfect, but um, it's a great test for us as a staff as well. We haven't had to face these challenges yet. And um, so far, I think we've made hard decisions in the moment. Uh, where maybe we would have wanted to extend the time someone's on the field or not make that change. But knowing that um, there's still a number of games this month and then going into the final month of the season, it's important that we've got as fresh legs as possible. Any last questions for Rian? You good? Okay, we'll wrap it there. Right. Thank, Thank you, you Rian. Appreciate it. <laughs>